There we go. Oh, it's live. <laughs> How long have we been live then? <laughs> I didn't realise I'd made it live. <laughs> okay, hi guys. Uh, and welcome to our Sunday hangout. Goodness knows how long we've been. I didn't live. know I was live. We, we could have been muted. I think I have it ready. <laughs> how many of these oh, have I done? And it's yeah. so many little things to remember, guys. Honestly, it's it's a nightmare. And I don't even use that fangled program that Zahir does. New fangled thing. Still haven't got that set up, so we don't have any fancy fangled stuff. Right. Let me just <laughs> pause this other video. I don't want that running in the background. Yeah. So yeah, hi. It's been a bit of a mad rush yeah. today. We've been at my parents. Oh, it's very red suddenly. I don't know why. Oh, you've got <laughs> a rash. Been, it's not a rash, just flushed. <laughs> it's because we've been running around like mad things. We, we say this every single week. I know. But I think I, our Sundays are just like that. Sundays right? are hectic. Hectic. Um, we went to my parents, and I actually sent Zahir a picture of this, so he can attest to this. My dad has got himself a pet chicken. He has. It's very very cute. It's a, a bantam. A bantam, a silky. Bantam, it's like, it's, silky. they're called silkies. So it's white and very, very sort of fluffy and yeah. But he cute. was sat in his armchair, leaned back with, with this chicken just sat on him. Yeah. Stroking it. It's got a real bond with him, wasn't it? <laughs> it was quite bizarre. So yeah, that's where we've been. Um, we, we almost made it on time. So yeah, we can relax now. Right, let me pop in the chat. There's been loads of chat. Let me whiz back. I don't know if this is right. That can't be because that's the middle of a conversation. I can't scroll back to the beginning of the chat at the moment because there's been so much. But uh, I'll just say a few hellos. At the moment in the chat, the first was Peter Ray. And then there's Jason Entwistle, Doing It Yourself Lifestyle. Um, Scooby-Doo. Scooby Paid Up. Lots of wow, loads of chat going on. I don't know what all that's about. Um, DKLC Trading, who I follow on Instagram, I shared um shared their blog um, the other day. So hi there. Um, My ka-ching's not working. We just we had got? a sale, and I didn't get a ka-ching. Andy's in. Um, Kay Horsley. Is um, your ka-ching working? Oh, it's in the other room, so I don't know. We just sold something, and I didn't get a ka-ching. Maybe you've got on you've got it on silent. That's why. I haven't. Oh, technology, honestly. Fail. <laughs> Do you want to explain why you've got lights around your neck? Oh, this, yeah. <laughs> okay, we will try and catch up in the chat in a sec. We do not have a haul. We are still sticking to our not buying. Well, well you are. I bought a load of stuff on eBay, <laughs> but we didn't go You've to the been, boot sales. I've been cheating again. I've been cheating. <laughs> I've been online sourcing, but not a lot. And and like. 50 times as much has gone out the door than came in so you can see behind lots of floor lots of space the bike is still there although i did get a 200 pound offer on it today that i turned down yeah oh i don't know no i think you did the right thing i went back at 250 which for that bike is pretty good and they declined it just straight away didn't they yeah i think you did the right thing so yeah, but it's going really well. Um, I will explain this then, shall I? Yes, you better explain that because you look strange. Okay, <laughs> we still haven't done anything to celebrate our 2 million viewers. And we did mention a while back we were going to do a giveaway. So we're going to do a giveaway. Um, so if you would like to look as cool as me with your eBay branded Christmas lights, you can, you, you can win these. <laughs> you could always take the holly off and just use them as normal lights because they're just on with a little bit of wire aren't yeah you they? could snip them off so. um and along with these amazing wonderful ebay christmas lights there's an ebay addict mug as well yeah doesn't it still have its box it does it, it does have yeah. its box so yeah. it's brand new never been used and it has its box um so yeah i know right pushing <laughs> the boat out with the prizes here <laughs> so to be eligible for that um you just have to be a subscriber to our channel and then you need to pop over to our new Facebook group, which we're going to talk yeah. about a bit. Yeah. Uh, if you saw Zahir's uh, impromptu live stream, live stream, <laughs> live stream earlier, uh, he mentioned it. Um, do you want to explain what it is? Um, yes. Um, we have started a Facebook group with Zahir and Beck. Um, it is centered around the, we've called it the tat chat. So it's centered around the tat chat that um, Nick and Zahir have. Um, but it's also centered around the live streams that we do as couples as well, um, because a lot of you are in the side chats every week 
and we see the same names and some of you aren't in other Facebook groups, et cetera, et cetera. And we just thought we, we always see a lot of chat going on and everybody gets on really well. Yeah. So we thought it'd be just fun to have a Facebook group where everybody can chat all week long, really. And we yeah. can share things and we can just talk all things reselling. And so it's basically a yeah, place to carry like a on sort the of social place. Yeah. Carry on the social side of what we do on our channels um, because yeah. it's 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 been really important for us to have YouTube as a social outlet and as resellers it can be a very lonely pursuit and there are other Facebook groups around but we wanted to do one that's just fun it's just social you can talk about whatever you like in there within yeah. reason <laughs> and and it's just gonna be a fun place so there should be a link below to that if you want if you want to win the prizes pop over there I put a post on the, the tap chat page about half hour ago where you just need to comment on that post and the question was what sort of videos do you prefer that we make just let us know what that is and then you'll be entered into a random draw and somebody will be the happy owner of ebay christmas lights <laughs> and ebay addict mug just as a little thank you for us reaching two million views yes and then we do plan to do a special video i think i'm going to do another prices right because they are so much fun and I suggested earlier, I don't know what you guys think of this, but I think we should do a girls versus boys prices, right? Battle of the sexes type thing. And then we could theme it Battle of the Sexes as well. Maybe. Something different, I suppose. <laughs> well, you can be you can be like on the women's side. Obviously, I'll be hosting. Well, I hope I'd be on the women's well, side. <laughs> <laughs> as in playing along. I can't play along because I'll be finding the, the item and know what the items are. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. So pop over to there. Um uh, request to join the page uh, we'll let you in and then you can if you want to win those just leave us a comment job done All right let me catch up with the chat the chat is so busy we've got 169 people in already 170 uh, you haven't missed a lot we were just talking about prize giveaway Go, click the link down there to our new tap crap tap oh my chat crap, <laughs> <laughs> chat crap group <laughs> that's a that's a better name <laughs> probably is on your tat chat group that we're running with zahir and beck and you'll find out all about it over there um oh it's been a long day i know i always say that it's been a long weekend we'll let you know where we were yesterday in a minute yeah um okay wow scrolling 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 lots of people in there's darren karen's in there lisa hi there kirsten hello one man riot adam daniel hillsman lovely to see all our regular viewers um as lisa says smash the like button if you enjoy these uh, we do appreciate that is nick drunk again haven't touched a drop he hasn't i can i can say you no but definitely you haven't had a few yesterday yes um <laughs> yesterday we were in london all day we took ellen to a youtuber conference at the excel center like convention yeah, yeah it was huge there were tens of thousands of screaming teenage girls mm. going up to meet their their favorite youtube stars and the scale of that event was just mind-blowing absolutely mind-blowing so we dropped her off there and then we were in central london with a bunch of other parents of ellen's friends yeah just had a day out in greenwich didn't we really just wandered around at a picnic yeah. in the park it was nice yeah, we hung around Greenwich. Yeah, but 12 hours in London, though. <laughs> yeah, I think I dropped some pictures onto the Tat Chat group, actually, if you want to go and look at those, do so. And yeah, today we do not have a haul. As I said, we are pretty much sticking to our not buying stock until we've cleared through enough of our backlog to, to feel like we're on top of it. But we do have a few sales to share. So that's what we're going to do, apart from chatting to you guys. Has Nick bleached his hair? No, it's just the lights is reflecting. I guess it's uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going grey, but no, I haven't bleached my hair. Uh, one man riot asks if you can explain what your hoodie is. This is Atticus. Um, Atticus is a clothing brand and a record label. Uh, Atticus Finch is there. That's their, their like logo. So yeah, I just really like the clothing. To kill a mockingbird, if you don't know yeah. Atticus Finch reference. And that's that's the dead bird logo that they have on their clothing range. I used to have a really nice coat that was Atticus Finch. So yeah, that's what that is. And Lisa asks, um, did I get a chance to look at her boutique page on Facebook yet? Um, I haven't had a good look. I had a brief look, um, but I've had a busy day today. So um, yeah, I've, I've gone over and I've liked it. Um, 
yeah i mean if you want to lisa feel free to drop the links into the the tat chat group yep um and you know yep the the tat chat group we're open to that sort of stuff if you want to put external links you just need yeah. to contact one of us beforehand otherwise yeah. it, it'll just get spammy but yeah that's that's cool lisa to do that okay so was there anything else we we're going to talk about oh we've had oh thank you margaret we've had a two two dollar super, super chat from chat. margaret yeah thank you. thank you sorry text we still don't have spangliness like you managed no. and and so here does but yeah appreciate that um yeah if you don't already sub to text click on the icon if you're in the chat and go over there and sub to text i'll do a channel. big happy dance for you though oh i see you're keeping this thing going <laughs> Um, well, I will only stop when you get a spangliness thing, the star thing. <laughs> so that's your motivation to work out. <laughs> Make me stop dancing. <laughs> <laughs> your jumper reminds me of a certain Monty Python sketch. It says, the, the Thailand Heron, what? Thailand. Thailand, Th Thailand Heron, Heron, maybe. I think I said that wrong last week as well. <laughs> I can't read it. I think it says Thailand. Yeah. Uh, it's not dead, it's pining for the fjords. <laughs> anyway, we do have some stuff to talk about. Um, sales wise, I forgot to get the figures, it was a bit of a mad rush. Uh, we've had a similar week to last week, which is pretty damn good considering in the summer for us, at least this summer, we're really taking our foot off the pedal because we've Ellen's home from school, we've got a lot going on, so we haven't done an awful lot of work again. But our numbers were pretty, pretty good considering. Yeah, I haven't been, I've that should have been really good. Amazon was down on the last week. eBay was about the same. So we've had a pretty good week. I did share that I listed a load of Sylvanian family stuff. And the speed that sold mm. blew my mind. I'll share those sales with you in a minute. We're going to screen share and share a few. So, yeah, it's been a good week. Um, I've started another list of 10 awkward items I've been putting off forever. Started playing through those, mm -hmm. which is cool. And you've been working on more clothes, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I've been, well... From if you saw our video last week and see what I was working through. Yeah. Yeah. So what we'll do now, uh, I'll just dip in the chat before we do. Um let me <laughs> see what people say. I didn't get the spangly. Yeah, sorry, Margaret. We're we're, we're still not spangly on this channel. <laughs> we're many things, but we're not spangly yet. Yet. Uh, but you did get a happy dance, yes, indeed. Uh Gavin says our local boot sale was mad also. Oh, someone else must have said so. Uh, no room left in the car to drive home. Oh, I do yeah. still get mad jealous. I was watching Zahir's little mini haul video and I was like, I wanted to go out. I know, it's difficult, isn't it? I miss it. It's I a think real... we're probably going to do it this weekend, though, because we want to go and sell some stuff as well. So. These crates here, uh, I've gone through pretty much all of this stock. And as, you, as you've seen, I've been forcing myself to list stuff that I've had sat around for ages. I've been making up bundles. I've been doing bulky stuff. I've also been pretty ruthless. And these crates are full of stuff we want to get rid of. There's a load more clothing that you're going to pass on, a load of my stock that's either stuff that I've listed and hasn't been selling or stuff that I've bought. And I'm really never going to get around to listing. I'm being much more ruthless than I ever have been. Mm -hmm. So these crates, we're going to take to another boot sale and sell those. We might do that next week. And if I'm at a boot sale, you can guarantee I'll be buying. So might have a haul next week if we can manage to get yeah, to one. I think we probably will. Yes. Um, Nick should be doing the dancing, Andrea, not you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, there's oh. a super chat from Lisa Fenn. Let me scroll down. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks, Lisa. Two yeah. pounds from Lisa Fenn for a happy dance. Oh, you get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, did Andrea beat your ass again? When, oh, in sales. Oh. No. No. Well, I don't know. That was last weekend. No, not this. I don't think not, so. Not during the week. No. No, you had a fantastic weekend, didn't you? <laughs> last really weekend. Good yeah, weekend. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I don't think so. I think your sales dropped off a little bit this week. Yeah. yeah. Due to lack of listing, I guess, because neither of us have listed a lot, have we? No. Um, you remind me of Tintin. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there's a couple of questions, or at least one question in. Let's do those, and then we're going to share a few sales. So, um, question: How many unlisted stock? Oh God, how many unlisted stock items do you have between you, between you and Andrea? Thousands. We could be here a while if we were to count it. <laughs> Don't know. In my case, tens of thousands. If you include um, Magic: The Gathering rare cards, that I want to do individually and in little bundles. It's tens of thousands. Mm -hmm. 
I've still got tons of stuff in the loft. We've still got the entire, well, most of the contents of a sports shop in the loft, which is one of the reasons I want to pare this down so we can move that stock down and have it in front of us and sort through it and list it. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. What's the other question that was there? Shell Staruni says, um, Nick and Andrew, you could ask in the Facebook group about how to get the Spangles. Well, Zaheer has talked you through it. You just haven't done it yet. I Yes, it's lack of me bothering to get it done more than mm. anything. Uh, Zaheer said he'll help me sort out using the OBA, is it, software? OBS. OBS. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. We'll get there eventually. Nick, OBA did you see Ben's video? <laughs> I didn't. I, hey? OBA is the business, is the business uh, post yeah, office I, account, I, isn't it? I'm easily confused. <laughs> uh, someone asking if I've seen Ben's video. Not yet. I haven't had a chance to catch no, up. I haven't watched that yet. Um, okay, cool. Question Do you have your own shop now, Andrea? No, we share the same shop. We've just had another super chat. Yeah. Michelle Izzard five pounds thank you that's oh, thank so you, generous Michelle. really thank appreciate you that very much no message with it though if you want a particular if you want to put a message with your super chat you can and we'll <laughs> read those out uh yeah thanks michelle i think michelle joined the tap chat group yesterday didn't okay. she yeah i believe so i remember seeing the name right we will screen share and do some sales before we just waffle everyone yeah to i death. just wanted to very quickly explain if you didn't see the video last week and and my insta stories and stuff um I did post on Insta stories that I'd had my best weekend of sales ever just for myself. And that sounds weird because we've been selling together for the last 15 years. And, you know, obviously <laughs> it's not been my best weekend of sales ever technically, but I feel like since we gave up the shop and we've been working at home in our separate spaces with very different stock, hmm. um, I feel like, that was my own little personal achievement that um, it was stuff that I'd done on my own without we hadn't done together. And I'd, yeah, how it used to work was we would share all of the jobs as in we yeah, would so share the listing, together, we'd share the sourcing. Together, now, know. Andrea's clothing is Andrea sources, cleans, prepares, lists and does everything. Yeah. And with that way of doing it, that was your best weekend yet. Yes. The only part, although you did package those orders, normally I package everything. Yeah, that's the only thing that we don't. So share. it just felt like a bit a small, just a small personal achievement, really. So I just wanted to share that on Insta stories last week. Oh, Ben sold Spider Man. Oh, okay. Not yeah. the Spider Man. Yeah, I know, I know the, a figure. the figure. Yeah, I will check that out later. Okay, let's quit procrastinating and share some sales. So I, I need we to. We're procrastinating. <laughs> we're having interesting conversation. Okay. <laughs> uh, right, screen share. <laughs> um one of those where's the window hang on i've got to go and change the window you and technology <laughs> <laughs> okay it's that one right yeah. bear with we're there okay so i'll share a few of my sales and then we'll go into some of a few of andrew's clothing sales that i picked up you may remember i picked up i think it was four or five of these willow tree figures i think we paid 15 or 20 the lot and they've all gone now i couldn't tell you off the top of my head what we got back i think it was i don't know 70 odd maybe 60 70. uh this one i had to reduce but i i reduced it a bit and then got 25 uh for that brothers that's quite a small figure it's only six or seven inches tall but a nice little thing they've all unboxed and used but they are worth picking up most of the time with these on the base will be a little gold sticker that says willow tree um, if you're not sure what they are and yeah so that's the last of those gone that one took a while to sell the others went a lot quicker um this hang on let me reduce the screen a bit this i i picked up with that tools haul owed me 25 pounds uh, it was getting loads of views quite a lot of interest but nobody was picking it off and buy it now as part of this clear out bulky stuff, I, I put a few bits on auction. So I listed this on auction at 50 pounds, which was the very minimum I would have been happy to take. And it ended up selling for 82. But again, I shared this in the tat chat group that unfortunately I forgot to say, I will not ship it to Highlands and Islands or international. Mm -hmm. And a guy in Belfast won it. So the courier cost, I'm going to, I'm going to lose about 10 pounds extra on top of this 1499 because I, you know, I messed up there. Um, but UPS will ship it to Northern Ireland for about 25. So 
I'm just going to swallow that. I'm still happy to get rid of it. There's still a big chunk of profit in it, so it's good. And it's out of my way. That thing weighs a ton. It's 20 kilos. It's huge, isn't it? And it's in this massive old AA box. So, yeah, very happy with that. Also happy with this because this has been bugging me. It doesn't fit on the shelf, so it's been sat on the floor, tripping me up for the last month or two. Uh, part of that tall haul again owes me a fiver, and that went for 40. It's just a gas uh, little heater. So that was nice. Um, I switched a couple of the Atari games, a couple of the more expensive Atari games to auction, just as a bit of an experiment, really, um, to see if they'd go. I'd had this listed at £30 for a couple of months, mm. and lots of views, lots of interest, and nobody was picking it off. So I started it at 20 and it, and it got its way up to 27 So, you know, I'm happy with that. If I'd have waited, I probably could have got more, but happy to move that on. I've got very few of the Atari ones left, so... I tried it with another three or four of the higher end ones, and that was the only one that sold on auction. But yeah, happy with that. The Atari games all owe me about a pound each. So nice money there. Then the Sylvanian stuff. This was one of the list of 10 was to pick up or pick out all of my Sylvanian stuff, sort it out, look it up and list it because it's been sat there for ages. In fact, I bought most of this a year ago when all the YouTubers came to Hitchin and we went out. Yeah. And I picked a load of it up. Yeah, you've been stockpiling it for a I've while. I've been stockpiling it. Yeah. This hotel, I was going to list just as the hotel. And then I did some research and they sell a lot quicker, seemingly, and for more if you populate them. So I put all these figures in. Did some research on the figures and the families were worth splitting out all these odd figures. I just chucked in there and it sold for £100 within two days. Um, so yeah. And it went on GSP. Yeah so wow who wrapped that like within an inch of his life packaged they? the hell out of that because <laughs> yeah it's big it's bulky it's heavy and i can just see someone dropping it on its corner but then hopefully we'll be covered by gsp anyway um i'll just do these sylvanian bits and we'll drop out of screen share yeah, and then i'll go back in and do your clothes so yeah. the rest of the sylvanian bits i have one family left out of everything i shared on facebook i have one family left and the rest is gone these went for 25. Moles are seemingly sought after. God knows why, but yeah, they are. They are super cute. Really cute. I've got um, one set of sheep left. These sheep went for a tenner. And these three sets, they weren't all complete. Um, they weren't worth a great deal on their own. The bus, this bus, was missing lots and lots of bits. So I just bundled them together and yeah, they went for 20. I lay oh blimey whoa yeah I laid them all laid them all out like this <laughs> pictures keep going nuts whoa what's it doing it's like it's having a rain oh anyway you, you get the idea <laughs> um yeah I set them all up and take took some really detailed pictures and they sold within a few days as well um that was one of the two houses I had I got 20 back on that one because it had the figure and furniture the other house oh there's some cows <laughs> the other house <laughs> I just stuck that on for a tenner, just the house on its own. And those bits I got 30 on. This was missing a few key parts. The bit that attaches the caravan to the horse was missing. Uh, the bit that straps over his back. Um, lots of bits on the inside were missing. They do sell for more, but in that condition, I thought that was fair. Yeah. So we worked out, I think it was about 75, everything owed us. And we've had, I've lost track, I don't know. 200 and something plus back so far so yeah really pleased with those yeah i think we'll definitely pick it up again yeah yeah i think that's the end of my stuff oh no oh yeah another thing on my hit list of 10 to get rid of was the match attacks i didn't get 75 for those i took an offer of 60 and they've been paid for and they've gone out and then i found another crate full <laughs> so i've got to do it all again but yeah really happy to just see the back of those and oh another one that was on my list of 10 um yeah chuggington that's all gone is that the stuff you picked up in the charity shop in no 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 that was tomey stuff okay. which hasn't yet sold oh and these <laughs> i had a part of the mega hall but i hadn't got around to listing them i had a massive crate of these i'm not sure how many oh there you go 32 and we sold two already at 19.99 and they owe us less than a pound each i think or around a pound yeah. So they're going to be a nice little learner. 
Okay, let's come out of screen share and dip in the chat again. Has that worked? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll dip back in there in a minute and share a few of Andrea's uh, clothing sales. Right, it's just jumped. Um, one man right, you can tell Nick Hills is a former art student the way he's creative with his pictures. Well, thanks. Yeah, I, I enjoy doing the pictures. I really do. Laying stuff out. I just think it it gives off a certain amount of care. If you okay, if you yeah. take. Oh, there's another kitchen. It's an Atari cartridge. I think if you take that care and attention to your pictures, it sends a message to the buyer that you're going to take care over packaging it and shipping it. Yeah. And it's been looked after. And I don't know, it's just it instills confidence in the buyer. I really yeah. think good pictures. But also the that. way you set out your little figures sometimes, like I think action, like action men and you've done like Lego and stuff and you set out little scenes, don't you? Yeah, I just, I, like I just play with toys. That's yeah, all I that's do. What you do. Um, a lot of love for the Sylvanians in there. Who pays all that money for some poxy animal toys? <laughs> exactly, Gary. Yeah. My customers, thank God. <laughs> uh karen asks how long do people leave something on now on buy it now before they reduce the price depends really <laughs> yeah that's yeah. my usual answer it depends <laughs> it depends what it is what interest it's getting it when it comes to its end you can go in and you can see the view count yeah that's what i usually go on so if i've listed it if it's been around a couple of times and the views aren't getting very much then i'd generally try and tweak something either i retake the photos or i drop the price or yeah you know just something to get some interest in it and sometimes you can go do if an item's been on 30 days or 10 days however long and it you thought that's going to sell and it didn't it might be worth going back in and seeing what your competition is yeah. at the time when you relist it you might have to tweak the price or maybe you've missed a keyword that other people are using yeah. um yeah i tend to assess an item on its own basis on its own merits and some i will mark down quite quickly others i'll leave on for months and months at the same price and just wait um <coughs> anyone know how to tell it oh, if something is leather do you know um, how to tell that usually by the feel and the smell of it really um, most things are but, marked aren't they if they're leather well definitely shoes if they've still got the um stickers on or inside sometimes there's an imprint you can see the little leather symbol yeah um but i'm not sure with like clothing i've Don't never know. seen symbols on clothing i'm sure if you search that in youtube somebody will have some sort of test you could yeah. do and you could probably tell from where it's come from like if it's something that's from new look or, or whatever then it's probably likely to be pvc and not actually leather or faux leather yeah but they might have um, a, a more expensive range that is leather yeah but i'm just saying it's more likely to be yeah. if it's a sort of cheaper high street place indeed I wonder if Mrs. Mole has knickers on today. <laughs> Apparently in the picture, you could see up her skirt. Oh, it just jumped. I was just going to read about Sylvanians. Oh, God, there's loads. Of... Oh, I've lost it. Um, Daisy says, I sold my childhood Sylvanian families five years ago, paid for new double glazed windows in my house. Oh, my God. That must have been quite a collection. Loads of originals. I, I didn't know what I had really, whether they were originals or no. reissues or modern ones. I don't know. Yeah, we're just, we're learning about Sylvanian families. Yeah, aren't we, really? I was just surprised. I, I priced them fairly competitively, but you know, decent prices, and it all everything I showed you went within three or four days, and I was pretty shocked at that. The hotel you can get more for, populated, but the windows were faded all of the like columns that have around the top all those parts have been sun bleached the actual structure wasn't in the best condition it was all sun faded so i priced that competitively and i really wanted it gone everything else i thought yeah i thought it would sit on a while but yeah sylvanian family stuff well worth doing um message the guy and say you have more might be a quick sale oh i did if you're talking about match attacks, get down. I, I did. I said, I, I've got another similar lot if you want it. And he didn't message me back. So mm. I've sent them out now. 
but yeah, I'll message him again, see if he's interested. Uh, Wise World says, well done on the Sylvanians. Yep, thanks. So pleased with that. Um, Thailand Heron says, Andrea, how does Christmas affect used clothes sales up or down? Probably slightly down, to be fair, but um, I do. Christmas um, jumpers go up. Yeah, they do. Um, yeah, I don't know, really. Anything Christmas related, of course, will we'll go through the roof. Yeah, and people start thinking more about, you know, toys and Christmas presents around then. So new tag stuff, with especially kids, goes quite well. And party stuff sells. Mm party dresses yeah. party shoes if you just get yourself in the mindset of what people might be looking for at christmas and and get that stuff on at yeah. christmas um poly pockets uh, alice pops is talking about yeah i love selling po poly pockets haven't found many for a while we found a couple a couple of months back didn't we yeah I not them, not yeah, listed um will you take less agrees yeah I'm saying about good pitches sell stuff yeah they do People, people trust the pictures, you know, and if your pictures are great, you, ha you hardly have to describe it at all because it's all there in the pictures. Um, say what now? Question on offer etiquette. Oh, interesting. If you're selling something for £10 best offer and someone offers seven, is there expected counters? For example, is a counter of £9 and rude or does it not matter? I don't know that there is any etiquette at the moment i don't know it's a good point i mean if you put offers on at tenner people will assume you'll probably take seven or eight yeah if you come back at nine it's only a pound off but then it's entirely up to you just play with it see what works yeah oh z's in there how's it here um yeah check out Zahir's whole video from earlier some cool some cool stuff um okay uh... Have you guys made your listings mobile friendly on eBay with, with their new listing tool? Well, I list direct on eBay at the moment. So is that what you mean? Or is there a new listing tool that I haven't even seen? No, I've heard chat about a new listing tool, but I haven't seen anything. So I don't, I don't know, know then. I'm being <laughs> just daft, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then Graham asks, uh, Nick, do you use good till sold or good till cancelled? I, I guess you mean. I do on multiple items like those shorts I shared before that's good till cancel because I've got a quantity. And if you get a few sales that that pushes it up the sales, um, the, the best search match. <laughs> <laughs> the what what do you want to put your tongue back in? Say head? what now? Um, yeah, but I do for multiples, everything else. Generally, we have on <laughs> what's that? It's a CD. Um, <laughs> generally, we have on 10 day cycles now. So I get that boost in the best match search when we relist it as sell similar, which is what we do. And then we, it has a boost up the best match search as it's coming to its end. But we get that peak three times in a month now. Obviously, it'll cost you more that way. Yeah. Um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's just jumped down. I don't know where I was. How much for a Christmas jumper with eBay lights stuck to it? <laughs> well, if you win them, Darren, if you enter the competition, these can be yours. I don't know if you were in when we said about this, but over on the uh, the Tat Chat page, you can win those. And then you can sell a tape them to your own jumper and sell it. I don't think I'll read Gary's comment about Christmas party clothes, but it made me laugh. <laughs> Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent. That's not too rude. Gary says Christmas no, party. <laughs> <laughs> why okay I won't. um so here says i've been noticing interest in my christmas craft stuff already mm. my god it's august i know well when we share my sales in a minute i'll talk about that <laughs> not the your craft stuff's here but yeah <laughs> a similar thing uh let's just read this question i've got there from charmaine then we'll dip back in and share a few of andrew's clothing sales uh, she says, when you first started selling on eBay, if we can remember that long ago, no. um, did you post worldwide or just in the UK and just starting selling and I only post on UK? Mm. I remember doing worldwide pretty much from the beginning. I think we did, yeah. 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 I think so. Once we'd worked out weights and prices, I remember we used to have a list up on, mm. on our above our desk with all the different rates for different weights international. 
and yeah we pretty much sold everything international and we yeah. still do but we use gsp we on use a lot GSP at the moment yeah well i've started to use our own um on video games yeah. and i'm i'm wanting to roll that out on more things i had a chat with zahir about that a while back mm -hmm. yeah okay let's do you want to share some of your bits i didn't find many of yours i'll be honest i don't know what you wanted to share and what you didn't so okay. i'll dip in and we'll have a look uh okay screen share okay so you should be seeing these cycle shorts that i just mentioned um somebody just asked i think it was graham this is a good till cancelled listing for example with 30 available so it'll just it will just stay on there permanently until they've all gone yeah, over. Uh, and for multi-item listings that works really well so yeah that's cool okay so i found ah yeah. so Christmas. this is what i was going to say that um i'm actually starting to see um snow suits um selling and this is very Christmassy looking isn't it it's like a um, baby baby santa suit <laughs> yeah but i've still got lots of snow suits left over from the shop and I did list them last year and then obviously then the season changed and they stopped selling. But now I've started to see them being picked off. So, um, yeah, so people are thinking forward. They're probably, yeah. It might be people that are maybe having a baby in autumn, winter, getting ready. Even. Yeah, very possibly. But this one is um, 18 to 24 months anyway. Oh, OK. Um, and I find that the bigger sizes sell better as well. We were always, they were more sought after in the shop, weren't they? The bigger sizes, people used to come in and ask for them. They so flew off the shelves, lot, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that's a nice little sale. I mean, you what was that? £15 with shipping on top, and I guess you'd pay, what, a pound for that? Well, I, I didn't, yeah. Well, that I didn't would actually have been, pay anything for that. Because it was... It came in through the shop. It was traded in, yeah. Um, but if, if we saw it at a boot sale, you'd pay about a pound, yeah, yeah I guess. Probably. Cool. I'd probably pay a couple of quid if I knew that it was going to go for 15 Yeah, certain brands you'd pay up on. Yeah um that one what was that uh, one? this is another thing that um, came from the shop so i didn't actually pay anything for it um i had two similar they had a, a purple one in exactly the same style and i think they came from the same trading so she'd obviously bought one that was a different size so that, yeah i don't know obviously like the design mm. but yeah monsoon always sells well especially in kids clothes and how long roughly do you think that was listed was that listed up for a while um a couple of months maybe oh okay yeah not long but the purple one interestingly went quicker so i don't know whether it was the size or whether it was just because the purple color was nicer i don't know sorry i'm just chipping off yeah <laughs> so hot in here yeah so yeah the purple one for some reason went straight away but that one didn't. and these were these from way back when we these are from when we had a pound haul from a haul the, of boots um, charity shop I sale i thought they were we bought like we did a video way back when yeah we must have must have picked up 20 or 30 pairs of boots yeah but again i listed them last winter when we were listing boots um for some reason they didn't sell then but now we're starting to see people thinking about winter thinking about the change of yeah. the season and um, boots are starting to sell again yeah because a lot of those boots sold really quick and then we were just left yeah. with a few but sticky I think ones that's because they were new um well, that, I, I listed them as used. It does, it does say used. They were new. They've never been worn. But they, I think they had a bit of wear from storage and that kind of thing, a couple of marks on them. So I listed them um, as used. But, yeah, I don't know. I, th I think it's because I had it on high because they, I thought they were worth more because they were yeah, they've been technically reduced, haven't they? new. So I've reduced them right down and they finally sold. Yeah. So it's good to get rid of the dregs of that considering how much we made on some of the other pair i mean we sold some of those for 40 odd pounds yeah. and they all owed us a pound each so just to get the dregs out the door at 12.99 in fact i think we took 11 pounds off on these did we i think i accepted an 11 pound okay. offer last night but yeah for the for the last few bits of that haul i'm happy to get them yeah. out the door this um, thing this is a good sale um i took an offer on this as well i think it was 18 yeah um but yeah i mean loud sort of bold print shirts and also it was extra large um so well and also it was calvin klein so so where was that from that was from a pound rail in a charity shop yeah in a charity shop calvin klein for a pound in the charity yeah, I know. shop i don't remember you picking that up yeah i did that's obviously. a bit christmasy actually talking of christmas isn't it well I don't maybe know. <laughs> maybe not i wouldn't wear it 
It's the kind of thing that you'd see your dad wearing at a barbecue, isn't it, really? Not my Not dad. your dad. Your dad wouldn't wear that. <laughs> but a dad. <laughs> and that one. I like yeah. the look of that, actually. Yeah, Not it's lovely. I, and I, it's... I wouldn't wear it, but, you know. Yeah, it's silk as well. And the it's sort of embossed, so the um, pattern in it is kind of has a velvety feel to it. Yeah. Yeah, that was really nice. Where did you get that from? That was a pound rail thing as well. Really? Yeah. Wow. Nice sales. So, yeah, that's all I managed to find before we went live to share. So if I stop that and come out of there. Oh, I messed my hair up when I took my jump off. <laughs> This is a uh, Snoopy Usual Suspects or Peanuts. Yeah. Another T-shirt from my do, collection. We used to do um, pub quizzes, didn't we, with your sister? Yeah. And we were called the Unusual Suspects. Yeah, we had a pub quiz team. We we did it for years, and we were the Unusual Suspects. So, this is Usual Suspects, as in the film. Yeah. Because yeah. she bought that for you because of. Because of our team name. Yeah. Because of yeah. Our team name. Okay. So how long? Are, how are we doing? Oh, good. We've got oh, fifteen minutes there. to have a bit of a chat yeah and see what people are talking about uh question do you have best offer on all your listings no not all but i generally tend to with my clothes well you have a kind of system don't you where you list it higher than you would yeah so if you're happy to take a tenner on something you'll list it for like 15 with offers yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> which has its own brand of logic because sometimes people you think this is worth about a tenner Missed it at 15, well, someone picks it, it off. It does work it, you, sometimes. You win. Yeah, it, because if you put it at what you're happy to accept, you know, uh, on, on best offer, um, sometimes people buy it for the full price. Sometimes people offer it somewhere in the middle. Yeah, it, and you're happy either works. way. But you yeah. don't tend to have auto accept on. No, I don't. I have an auto decline, so I don't have to waste my time with stupid but offers. You could put auto accept on and then it's on autopilot. I know. But then I would still get stupid offers. So I put auto decline. So I don't... you can have both. Can you? Yeah, you can put. Oh, yeah, I suppose you can. You can put decline anything below a tenner and accept anything above a tenner. Yeah, I don't know. That's just the way I do it. <laughs> anyway, I forgot. I was. I actually forgot I was live again. Then no, just, it's just telling me how to do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <sighs> then somebody talk. Oh, ah, Krillin. There's a super chat from yes, Krillin again. Hi, mate. Hi, Krillin. I, I was watching a few of your videos the other night. I found your channel uh, really cool. Um, I saw the fix last night. They rocked. I don't know the fix. I don't. I've heard of them. Have you, have you heard their stuff? Um, no, but I've heard of them. I will. You. I will search them on YouTube later and have a look. Mm. The fix. Where Where are you, Quillen? In America, I know, but whereabouts are you? Your accent sounds sort of New York. Oh, cool! So, I love New York. Yeah. Definitely East Coast. Unless you were East Coast and live somewhere else now. Yeah, but, let us know where you yeah. are, actually. I'll be interested. Yeah. Um, there's Sue. Hi, Sue. Malinky's in there. Man with dead bird on chest won't wear a loud shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have dead bird on chest anymore. Um, okay. Oh, oh okay. blimey. <laughs> How many water bottles do you think you have left to sell? Good question. I don't know. I could, I could do a doing a stock take on that. Mm, quite a lot. There's still loads left. But they're doing really well for us over the summer, aren't they? We've sold so many. I would like to think we've maybe sold half. Mm. We started Probably. with... What did we start with? I can't remember. I think it was 450. Right. Um, yeah, we sold hundreds. I, I don't know. I sent quite a few up to Amazon, and they've some have gone in a flash, and some haven't sold at all up there, so it's been a bit hit and miss. But, yeah, they've been great. Certain lines really aren't selling, and I've reduced those right down, but they've been good. We certainly made money on them. Um, uh, there's a question there about tax. Question, haven't gone pro on eBay yet. Selling a few bits and pieces, though. Paying tax as putting it through with my jewellery business sales. Does change into a business account, get more views and sales? I don't think being a business account changes your results in the search engine, mm -hmm. but who knows? I, I really couldn't tell you how the algorithm works with that, but I wouldn't have thought so. No. I doubt eBay would want to favour businesses over individual sellers. It wouldn't no, because benefit they, them. they want to encourage um, personal sellers, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Um, but I, I don't really have the No, I mean, there are answer. so many questions about how eBay work and how they highlight some things and not others and et cetera, et cetera. And then we 
just don't know. Everybody tries to guess, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, say what now? I like that name. Uh, it says I like Andrea's system. Oh, the best offer system. Mm. I think it's good. Yeah. <laughs> um, remind us, Andrea, who had the most sales last week? Last weekend, not over, not over the week, but the weekend. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And there's a question from Jack says, um, Andrea, eBay recommend not using colored backgrounds. They say that system picks up plain white background better. What do you think? Well, I don't know really, the, but the I system. use a flowery background and it's, I get sales. So I'm intrigued what, what system picks it up know. and how that would affect anything. Cause people aren't searching images, are they? Or maybe they are searching yeah. images. No, yeah, that's I an mean, interesting thought. I was actually talking to Beck about this, and she was she was saying that she thought that when you've got something that's slightly more interesting or something that um, makes it look like it's your listing, people are more attracted to it. So, like for instance, there something are something an individual, yeah, yeah, like an individual type thing. So, like the way I do mine on my boxes, um, you know, if Beck was saying that if you then went through ebay and you saw my photos you'd always know oh yeah that's 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 yeah um there are i've seen other sellers um i think it's it's come from the whole instagram and etsy thing but um seen sellers sort of lay flat lay things and put like plants and mm -hmm. um bits of jewelry and feathers and things almost just, creating a yeah, brand just yeah so that it, it makes your image look more interesting and if you always use the same thing then your sellers will always identify that um, listing as being you. Well, some people have taken that kind of nugget of an idea to a whole other level there's some, there's a, a seller of video games in America I think this is it's a woman and she has a low cut top and holds the game here and takes a picture of herself with her very low cut cleavage oh and the video goodness. game and there's another guy who has his face in all the pictures, just grinning, holding the object. So he's in every, he does like a selfie. And he's, he's in the UK. Oh yeah. Somebody shared his account with me ages ago. It's so funny. But it works. He sells the most random gear. Yeah. And the pictures aren't great. They're just funny. Every item, he's in it just going. Oh, well, brilliant. Hats off to him. Yeah. Yeah. But I think Margaret did a video um, recently. I haven't watched it yet, um, but I want to about um, an app that actually um, picks out your item and makes and puts it onto like just a plain white background. Um, oh, I yeah. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, she's done a video about it. So have a look at Texas Gal Treasures. Um, yeah. Because yeah. I thought that looked that quite for, interesting. for merch as well, wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Wise World says, Sylvanian families are known as calico critters here in the USA. Oh, no. They are known as Sylvanian families everywhere else in the world. Yeah, somebody else was commenting on that video I did, I think. I don't know if it was you. Um, and that makes sense because when I was doing my little bit of research, I saw that come up in a few. And I think I actually borrowed somebody's title or some of the keywords and put that in. But I didn't know at the time that's what that was, so the, the word for Sylvanian families in America. I thought it was the name of the family or or the set that I was listening. I can't remember. Mm. But yeah, that's interesting. So it's worth if you are listing Sylvanian families internationally, putting calico critters in the title, because there'll be American collectors that only search calico critters. And then they pick up your listing as well. So yeah, yeah thanks for sharing um, that. One Man Riot says, um, Andrea, did you do anything different to get your best weekend ever on eBay? Well, that it's an interesting question, actually. We were talking about this because I've actually, I mean, Nick's been telling me for ages that when I do my relists, I should do them in the evening <laughs> um, because people see it, see it when it's ending. Um, and there are more people sort of viewing eBay yeah. of an evening. And I actually started doing that. So maybe, maybe you're right, dear. <laughs> when am I, when am I wrong? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Ask yourself that question. You may not always be right, but you're never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there is some logic in it because when an item, whether it's an auction or a buy it now, as it's coming to its end, it is promoted. So if it's only got 10 minutes left, it will be bumping its way up the best match search. Yeah. And if that time is eight or nine o'clock in the evening, 
when you did your relist, that's when it's going to end, like 10 days later or a month later, however you choose to do it. So if it's ending at the time most people are browsing, you know, you're likely to get more sales, is the logic behind that. Um, oh, we've got another super chat from Jack. Yes, it just jumped down. Jack oh, Blackburn thank you, Jack. has thank you super that. chatted two pounds. Thank you, you so much. Happy dance. We really appreciate that. I need a pair of maracas, I think. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't put a comment in as well. If you super chat, you can put a comment and then we can yeah. read out what, what you what you say. Yeah. Um, it just jumped. I've got to scroll back and see if we missed anything. I've heard a white background sells better, says Shing Bobs. Yeah. And people have so many opinions on the best way to do things. I think you need to find what works for you and run with it. Um, my background is is just wood. Well, you see here. Very similar to what what Ben has actually is set up, um, and I don't have any trouble selling stuff, so that work mm -hmm. that works for me. Um, um, the Hillsman says, "What is that red, black, and white thing on the shelf next to Andrew?" I think it, is it this? That is a Mac Cars um, truck. So that's the cab there, just just above Andrew's head. If that's what you're thinking. Well, that's the only red thing I could say. Oh no, hang on. What is it? This? That that is a box of horrible histories books. It's a complete <laughs> set of whatever, waiting for Christmas. Yeah. Anything else? <laughs> this is our shelf of unlisted stuff. Oh, that's it? yeah, that stuff that's <laughs> needing to be tackled. I'm getting there, folks. Honestly, I'm getting there. Um. Why is Stephen Moore putting a devil? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I see. Because he said before, off to see cattle decapitation. Oh, that sounds lovely. They sound a lovely bunch <laughs> of chaps or ladies. Cattle decapitation. What's that? Death metal. It sounds a bit raw. Wow. I don't think you'll be heading off <laughs> to see them any will, anytime no. soon. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine me as a vegan with a, one of their T-shirts on? <laughs> <laughs> a vegan hat on and a cattle decapitation. Yeah. No. Well, have a good gig anyway. <laughs> uh, Hitman says, I always try my best to watch Nick Z's and ads live just out of thanks for the help. Cool. Well, if you enjoy the videos, fantastic. Yep. You can always watch them on catch up if you don't get them live anyway. So that's that's cool. Uh, Sue says, I love your background, Andrew. I think it will make your listing stand out and probably get repeat custom from it. Thanks, Sue. Yeah, that's what we, yeah. Beck and I were talking about. So there's so many ways of doing this, and it's all personal preference. Uh, Carol says there actually, someone from eBay said you can use any background. Okay, that's yeah, interesting to know. So maybe there is no preference from search engines or anything like that. Um, oh, a metal band, someone says there, Peter. So perhaps it is. Yeah. Uh, question, Nick, what's your ASP? 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 I don't know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I feel like I should do, but I don't know what, what an ASP is. Oh. Yeah, Ellen hits me with all kinds of acronyms about things. And I'm supposed to know. I have to ask her to explain. Oh, it might be time. average selling price. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't that know. That makes sense. My, my st sales um, vary from 99p to £100 and beyond. Yeah, I don't know anything between 10 and 20 for me, I think. Yeah, I, I tend to keep an eye on my daily turnover and I try to keep that at a level. Okay. Whether I sell loads of things to get there or a couple of things, it, it really doesn't matter to me. Mm. I am trying to move towards a higher average selling price, as I think a lot of people are, just because it's more money for less work and less stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't really pay any attention to it. Um, okay, let's see. Ah, Darren's got some info. The new eBay image search will allow users to take a photo of something they want to buy and search via images on eBay to see if they're available. So yeah, it is. So you can potentially search by an image, oh. like you can on um, Google. You can do. Don't they call it a reverse image search or something? Yeah. That's interesting. So that's when having a plain background, you'd get a clear outline and perhaps the engine will be able to pick it up easier. So perhaps a fussy background on yours. But would people be searching for an item of clothes that way? I could see people searching a video game cover or something. I don't know. That's really interesting. 
Mm. Yeah, thanks for that, Darren. Oh, well, we'll have to see how it goes. Okay, let's see. S Stephen Moore, strange thing. They are all vegan. What, the cattle decapitators? <laughs> oh, wow. He's messing with <laughs> us. No way, surely. <laughs> Uh, Andy says up there, Sunday evening is the best time for items to end. Yeah, that's general perceived wisdom. Is that what that's when most people are browsing on eBay? I tr try to get my auctions, if I run an auction, to try to get those ending either Saturday or Sunday evening mm -hmm. between sort of eight and 10. Um, that tends to work for me. But then I've had ra ones end random times and they've gone fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Barry, I sometimes use an orange towel as a background, as I think the colour makes the picture stand out. That's another thing. If you can stand out of all the thumbnails, that's, yeah, that has that, to be an advantage. That's what we're talking about, really, isn't it? Mm. Trying to make it stand out. So I, I don't know. I don't know whether the changes are going to make it more that, that a white plain black ground would be better. or Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? We'll have to see. What does Lisa say there? That the cell the cellar. shelf because i said this is a shelf of unlisted oh stock. is it from the loft no i haven't really i did bring some stuff down from the loft what did i bring down i can't remember now but um a lot of it is christmas stock anyway isn't it apart from the sports stuff the loft is full of retail arbitrage crates and crates of that stuff yeah all my clothes have come down from there now and i've sorted those yeah that's what we i have a, an absolute ton of ironing to do we bought down i don't know how many <laughs> they're not in the attic full, anymore. full bin bags didn't we mostly of adult stuff from the yeah. loft a lot of that we've moved on we sold it tried to sell a load of it at the boot sale didn't have much success mm. with that we'll take it back again but and yeah and then up there is all that sports gear there's there's loads of appliances there's a massive barbie house that's Ellen's. That's though. Ellen's, but we need to sell it on for her. She doesn't well, want it anymore. Well, it depends whether she wants to. Does she want to keep it? She may do. I really regret. She want, she'll want the money. I really regret selling <laughs> it. Not, well, yeah, my mum used to take all my old toys and sell them at boot sales. But I won't and, sell it if she doesn't want to. And I really regret that because I wish I hadn't got rid of my like strawberry shortcake or my Care Bears or my ponies or anything like that. I wish that I had a mum and dad that still had a house that I lived in now and had an attic full of my stuff that I could could have let Ellen play with or yeah well I'll ask her again and see what... or I'd probably just sell them on eBay now <laughs> yeah. um the Hillsman can we can we have a look at your spare bedroom to see how clear it is no. now <sighs> no good that, luck getting in that's a danger zone <laughs> we we had someone come around to the house actually um but yeah, that's a whole other story. And we, we tidied up, didn't we? Yeah. We just shoved we just a load of the, stuff. We shut a... all the doors, don't we? And we make <laughs> the, the landing look tidy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, having guests around, Tom, you'll know this as a reseller. A lot of you guys, you'll, you'll understand this because you get people around, it's like, where the crap are we going to put all this stuff? Luckily, we have this room and Andrea's uh, office is the extension at the back of the house. So we can shove things in there. But God, yeah. This is what we want to, you know, why we want to get the balance back. But the majority of my stock that's in the um, spare room is boot sale now. It's what I've sorted to get rid of the rest of the kids' clothes and some of the adult clothes yeah. to take to the boot sale. So. Yes, yeah, so we need to have another boot sale and clear a load more. Um, uh, where are we looking? Uh, Graham says, only 61 likes. I can't see the likes from here. Uh, yeah, if you want to smash the like button. Oh, we've got 227 viewers, though, currently. Wow, that's that's a lot so, of viewers. Yeah. So, yeah, Hi welcome. We, Thank you for watching. We will be wrapping up soon. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to I'll, – I'll dip in the chat before we go again, but I just want to say for those of you that weren't here at the beginning, um, we, as part of our celebrating 2 million views, which every time I say it just blows my mind, um, we're doing a giveaway. Yeah, but we're also celebrating over 3,000 followers on our Facebook page. And I've got over a thousand followers on Instagram now as well. So yeah, showing off now. <laughs> yeah. So we thought we'd do a giveaway because we never have. So if you weren't here at the beginning, we are giving away because you know you want them. So do you want to hold that in? From eBay Christmas lights. Like that. Yeah. Which, as I was saying before, these are just um, 
it's just like a little bit of wire that's wrapped around so you can actually take the holly off and use them just as normal lights Vin they don't have to be christmas lights vintage it's actually the old logo they would look perfect in any office yeah <laughs> and <selling> them out. <laughs> an ebay addict mug which is brand new and it has its yeah it's brand box. new in box we haven't used it you know uh, and if you want to win those pop over to our new facebook group yeah the facebook group is called the tat chat and it is based around um yours and so here's tat chat but also the our couples live streams that we do as well yeah the thinking was um, um we were chatting with Zahir and Beck and we wanted to just create a, a social place, a social group where you can go talk about reselling, but also feel free to just talk about anything. Um, very much in the vein of what the side chat is on our chats. You know, it's funny. There's banter. It's just a place to chill out because as resellers, I'll say it again. I think we need a social outlet. We get that from our YouTube. And we wanted to keep the chat going throughout the week. So we now have a place we can all go. You guys are welcome. The link is below. Just go through there and click to join and we will yeah. let you in. So, yeah. So I look forward to seeing you in there. Uh, if you do want to win those, you just need to find the post I put on with silly pictures of me wearing the lights and stuff. And then just put a comment below, letting us know, letting us know what sort of videos that we make are your favorites. And then that's it. You may win. Yes, and if you're not subscribed to this channel, then subscribe, leave us a comment if you like. And, yeah. Um, yeah. So I think we will wrap it up. I'm just going but to dip there in. There is something that you haven't mentioned. We, have, what? we haven't given a shout out to Sean and Joe. Yeah, I um, forgot. Oh. Who bought a mug from us this week. And we said that we'd like to give them a shout out and say thank you for the purchase. Which, um, and I need to apologise, I did message you guys if you're watching. It's still here. Do you want to it, pick up that box? Like, yeah, oh, well, I don't have to pick it up. Oh, okay. The box is there. still here because it was meant to go Friday, but I put it to one side because I wanted to write a little note and then I wanted to you to sign hello in it as or whatever. And then, of course, I did all my packing and it was still on my desk. So it, it now will have to go Monday. So fail. It's going late. But thanks so but much yeah. for the purchase, uh, Sean but and Joe. I don't have the full question in front of me, but did make a little note that you had a question about um, monthly selling allowances and do they start at the beginning of the month or do they start when um, was it when your when your allowance your last allowance runs out or you've used up all of your allowance do so does it does it start afresh at the beginning um we weren't entirely sure so if anybody does. knows the exact answer i would say it does start i think it, it restarts again i think at the beginning of every month whether yeah. you used up all of your quota before i don't think let's say you get 100 free listings or whatever for the for what your account is i don't think if you only used 50 last month i don't think then you'll carry over that 50. i think no, it just kicks off again just, yeah. at the start of the month but not sure if anyone knows definitively let us know now and we can share that with uh, sean and joe yeah um but, um, yeah, but, I mean, definitely for us, when <coughs> we get the free, not free listings, but well, I suppose it is an allowance, isn't it? Um, sometimes we run out towards the end of the month and it charges us. Yeah. But then it starts again as soon as the new starts month starts. again on the 1st of next month. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it all, yeah, all operates. I think so. Okay, so we will wrap this up in a sec. Let's just see if there's any last bit of chat. Uh, Lisa says, thanks, Nick and Andrea. You are both lovely and we love you both in your channel. Oh, wow. Thanks. Oh, thank you, Lisa. That's lovely to hear. Thank you. Uh, Adam, Nick, only only send two mugs instead of three. <laughs> <laughs> that guy never got back to us. He just he just vanished. And so he's perfectly happy with his two mugs I sent him now. Wow. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You can't count. <laughs> and Zahir so says, um, epic congratulations for the two million views. Um, um, and Andrea, on your Instagram followers, all thoroughly deserved. Thank you, Zahir. Thank you very much. Yep. Yeah. Um, we will be back with the Tat Chat on Tuesday. Is did did we get negative feedback from that guy? No. Yeah. No. <sighs> Madness. Um, yeah, yeah. And Daisy says it starts on the billing date, surely. Oh, maybe it is the billing date, but ours starts on the beginning of the month. I'm sure, yeah, ours definitely starts at the beginning of the month because that's when it starts again. 
Yeah. Like don't know. First. I'll try and find someone who's got the definitive answer and we'll let you know. I, I... Unless that is our, our bidding, Jake. Some people set it differently. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm quite relaxed about this. So I don't look at the details like that. Mm. Or perhaps I should, but I don't know some of these questions. And Carol says, well done to both of you. Great couple with lovely family, not forgetting wee Monty. Thank wee Monty, yeah. yes. <laughs> we, we took him to my parents today. Yeah, he Did... got rather excited about the chicken. Um, so we have to, we tied him up outside in the garden. He was in the shade and um, put up some water down. I thought he was quite happy. And then suddenly I heard him taffing around in your mum's kitchen. I thought, how's he in there? We've, he, we've strapped him up. He had literally broken his lead. He'd broken the metal bit that attaches yeah. to his harness. He'd pulled so hard to, to get in to find the chicken. And it, it just snapped <laughs> the metal off. So... A little tight. We've we've got a new lead now because sadly my parents' dog died about a year or so back. Yeah. So we've got um, Toby's old lead. But yeah, yeah. The chicken reference. If you if you joined us late, we went to my parents and we discovered that my dad now has a pet chicken. <laughs> has a, a pet. Sil a silky bantam. <laughs> I'll share a picture in in the uh, in the chat chat page uh, group. Which link is below that. Um, I'll share a picture. He sat most of the evening with a chicken on his lap. Yeah, and it was really attached to him. And for a while, he went off to cook dinner and Ellen was holding it. But every time he spoke, this chicken, it was like a child, this chicken would go and he would he would know where he was and he'd get all excited and want to leave Ellen. But whenever he was on your, your dad, he was just like completely content. He was preening himself, sleeping, pooing on him. <laughs> Yeah. It was a gorgeous little thing though, wasn't it? Lovely white little yeah, it's fluffy a little, chick. Little silky, sort of silky so bantam. Big. Yeah. Oh. Um, so yeah, I'll drop a picture in it. Oh, it made me laugh. Yeah, he it didn't start off as a pet. He bought them to um breed, I think, and he's got some more that he's waiting to hatch, which is hoping we'll keep it coming. He's got an incubator <laughs> that rotates with eggs in, it's got a heater in it, and he and he bought a load of eggs off eBay actually. Yeah. To, to incubate and out of all the eggs he bought it was 12 was it or six mm, only this one. only this poor lonely chicken hatched out so he's kind of adopted it yeah and it's all anyway. by itself and it, it gets a bit lonely outside um <laughs> oh kirsten thanks for sort of videos it's it's our pleasure kirsten um someone offered me a big retro game collection this is martin he only wanted 250 grand for it still laughing wow okay so unless there's any oh, oh it, it, it just jumped home. <laughs> let me just scroll down and i'll see stop all the chicken talk looks at zahir i think zahir i, I messaged him <laughs> didn't he? he said oh i feel like a kfc now i shared the picture of my dad with his chicken <laughs> the first thing he says is i want a kfc don't let the hair go oh, around no. in my eating. Kirsten says my dog Jenny got attacked by two dogs this evening. Oh no. Oh, no. I hope I hope she's all right. Oh god, yeah. Oh goodness. Sorry about that. That's what a horrible worried. thought. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, she's fine. I picked her up and shouted at oh. the dogs. <laughs> I was imagining horrible things. I know things. I was too. Yeah. I had a, a got a slightly funny story i know we're trying to end the um chat but go on then go <laughs> when on i then. was when i was younger i was taking my granddad's dog out with my nan he had a little yorkshire terrier and it was quite small had like a harness on with its lead and my nan ha held this dog and two massive dogs came towards it and did the same started to attack it and my nan <laughs> picks him up because this is just this tiny little thing picked up in the lead and just swung it around <laughs> he was literally <laughs> I'm just swinging yeah, around yeah. it, swinging it around the head. Try to get him out of the way of the dogs. <laughs> well, you would though, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, to this day, it still makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, a quick question just come in. Do you still have the two pack CDs? No, everything, everything has gone from that rap lot. Has he forgotten about Morley's chicken? I don't think so. No, I think he's thinking dreams about it. <laughs> I can't imagine you shouting you're such a quiet person when you talk. Oh, talking of Kirsten. Yeah. Anyway, I'm glad your dog is okay. You do, though, when it's your children or your pets. <laughs> the, yeah, the demon comes out in you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, thanks for joining us. Really enjoyed that. 
Um, if you do want to go and join the chat chat, carry on the chat over there. Uh, the link for that is below. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys in there. I will be back on Tuesday with the chat chat itself, which I think is over on Z's I think channel. It is this week, yeah. And then Thursday, I will do one of my little guest shows. We do have a guest lined up for that. I will keep that a secret for now. Mm -hmm. And Lisa, the bill, uh, the, the bill, it's called Bill. The chicken's called Bill, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> well, Ellen named it. Ellen named it Bill. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, <laughs> right, we're going to wrap this up here. Still got 191 viewers in. That amazing. Thanks ever so much for joining us. Thanks for all your questions. Thanks for chatting in the chat and the super chats. Yeah, yeah thanks, thanks so for much, those. Guys. We will see you soon. Yep, have a good week, everyone. Okay, cheers, guys. Bye, Bye. for now.